hurt. It won't. You're landing on a mattress. <sighs> you nuts. I want to keep my back. Oh, your back will be fine. Oh, don't wuss out. Oh, you're oh. such a wuss. <laughs> Whatever. We're recording me cuddling. Mm -mm. No, thank you. No, no, no. Hey, come back. Haven't been really doing a lot <laughs> other than focusing on Walking Dead. Because in between work, I've either been watching the first season and now I'm on season two, or I've been reading the comic. Because it's... Well, hi. Because <clears throat> I'm not going issue by issue because it's been on, or it's been going for so long that there's no way I could catch up by buying a single issue. So I bought the compendium. You have to have to clean this mess up. And it's freaking huge, but I read half of it in one night because it's just that hard to put down. And also. I'm reading ah, this, which anyone, really anyone who watches my vlog should know what this is without seeing the name of the author. <coughs> I'm not too far into it, like right there. Um, obviously, I mean, it's not a Potter book, so you don't stay up all night reading it in one sitting. Um... It's definitely not a Potter book. <laughs> it's um, pretty much as far from Potter as you can get. I mean, there's, there is um, very aggressive language. <laughs> and I haven't gotten any yet, but apparently there's sex scenes. And yeah, it's just really crazy. And But the thing I like about it so far, though, is even though there's like nothing to do with fans, Totally accidentally hit the stop button. <laughs> There's nothing to do whatsoever with fantasy or anything magic, you know. It's just about like this little town and a guy dying and how it affects their council. But um, even though it's nothing like Harry Potter, it's still pretty riveting. Like, I still want to get back to reading it. So you can definitely hear JK when you read it. Like, it sounds like her author's voice, if that makes any sense. It, it, that's how it is for me, but <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I've been doing a lot lately. Seriously, and now you're like in bed. <sighs> we just got done filming a video. <laughs> you can probably guess what it is, but just probably. Anyway, that'll be up later this week, and uh. Let's clean up this mess. Is there a cat under that stool? <coughs> yep. <coughs> anyway. <sighs> Alright, let's clean up this mess. to the city today and we did some shopping <laughs> yeah Shana's backseat was full so uh but we're really excited to share with you guys what we bought so um here in a second when I get everything unpacked let me show you guys my haul for today so here's an overview of my haul but I'll go into more detail first of course your first top stop is always hot topic and I found this amazing Walking Dead shirt that I'm going to wear for premiere night on October 14th. Carl's my second favorite character and just the whole stay in the house is just hilarious if you watch the show. Hooded vest that I love because I love hooded vests because it's in the guy section because, yeah, I don't, I like guys clothes better than girl clothes. Bath and Body Works. And I was getting low on my perfume, so I bought this new Harvest, no, Honey Autumn Apple and the lotion. It's, it smells so good. This is Deb, where I got a mini skirt, because I've been wanting one. 
She turned into a girly girl. Oh, good. That is a sticker. I'm like, oh, God, is that on there for good? (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. It's cute. Next stop was Hobby Lobby, where I found probably actually my favorite haul of the day, which is the original Beauty and the Beast book. I remember reading this when I was, like, way little. So I was really excited. I started reading it on the way home. (laughs) But it got too dark. Went to Aeropostale and I found this amazing messenger bag. I love messenger bags. That's and, an Aeropostale? Yeah. Oh. And it was $49.50. I got it for 12 bucks. Oh, yeah. And then the sales guy, who was pretty cute, uh, <laughs> was flirting pretty heavily with me. We connected over the messenger bag that we both liked. We used to have to Toys R Us against Shana's arguments. <laughs> and I found these really cool whoa I found these really Ooh, cool rain. Hunger Game headbands there's three of them and band-aids and they're pretty cool looking <laughs> Shana insisted I buy them so. Walmart and I found this Walmart. nice blue undershirt which is boring. was meant for a Captain America costume but that didn't work out and <laughs> this awesome Marvel t-shirt so <laughs> Yeah. That I pointed out. Well, no, I saw it when we were walking through the first time, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some juicy pear soda. <sighs> Yum. Last but not least, finally, after weeks of searching, <laughs> I finally found my Halloween costume. It's a little slooty, but it's actually one of the longer ones they had, so... It's a little short, but it's an Alice dress, and that's really all I wanted. So, I'll be wearing Real. tights, not, you know, leggings, but, um... We all know you're a whore. I know, I'm kind of a sloot, so... Anyway. Gotcha! <laughs> so, anyway, that's my haul. We should go see Shayna. She bought a shirt. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She's becoming <laughs> such a nerd. It's not ready yet. It's all in the bag. It's okay. Go and load it. We'll be yeah. ready. What are you doing? Well, actually, I would like to tell you guys about something. Secret? No, I've been wanting to tell you guys about for a while. So, another reason I was so excited to buy um, another Marvel shirt and a Walking Dead shirt, aka nerd shirts, is because my brother, who you all know, started a page on Facebook called Project Nurture. And he started it, I think. 80 some days ago. He has a really extensive um, t shirt collection on all kinds of things like bands and comics and superheroes and all kinds of stuff. And every day for 80 some days, he's been posting a picture of a new shirt. He wears a new shirt every day. And I've been posting a lot of shirts, and I mean, there's quite a few people who contribute every day. And so I will leave the link below, and you guys should totally go check out the page, because if you love nerd shirts, you love nerd stuff, you will find people on this page you will connect with, because it's just a whole bunch of nerds. And you can post your own nerd shirts, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. So in a second here, we'll go check out Shana's hole, and then I'll leave a link below to my brother Chris's nerd shirt page. You should totally so, Shana's, Shana's haul is a lot, a lot less than mine. So, go ahead. A lot less than yours? Well, yeah, I got a lot more than you did. <laughs> Chalk frog. I wonder what wizard you'll get. Oh, let's look. <gasps> Donna, Donna again, Tremlet? Do you even know who it is? Yeah, he's a member of the Weird Sisters. <gasps> oh my gosh. And Myron Wagtail. It's like... Yeah, it's it's double because there's two people. That's too cool. She got two members of the Weird Sisters. I have Dumbledore up there. Mm-hmm. I have, uh, I have McGonagall. Here, what else? Jones. Jones, some foo-foo berry. Foo foo. Little bunny foo foo. Be enchanted. Wait, what is it? Isn't it? What's it called? Be enchanted. Be enchanted from Arrow. No, not Arrow Pasta. No. 
Um, from Bath and Body Works. And a cat. No. I'm so proud of you. Look at the Captain America shirt she bought. So proud. Will it count if I put it on tonight? And sent him a picture? Yeah. For Project Nurture, my brother's page. She's been contributing too, so. And some jams. Ah! Some jams. Let's see the back. See what your butt will look like. Yeah. Some designs on the butt. From Maurice's. Well, that's it. So. And she got some underwear, but she's too shy to show them. <laughs> you wouldn't show them either. Well, that's because I've had some very improper comments on some well, of my videos. Peak, kinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and she got new underwear. But anyway. There's cheetah print, so, zebra print. <laughs> woo woo! Anyway, so we had a great day. It was, we had a lot of fun, so. Oh, hey, I see your cat in the background. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times on my project, uh, Potter Projects, the wands one, how many people have commented on that video and are like, I see your cat, I see your cat, I see your cat in the background. Yeah, I know, the cat's in the background, I know. I can't get rid of him. <laughs> so, but yeah, and I don't know why it's so fascinating that there's a cat in the background. There's a couch, too, and a window and some curtains. It's weird. There's a bunch of stuff behind me. I don't know. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Ow. some soup, too? God, I did that soup for you? Soup for you? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it as good as else can. Uh, I don't... That's soup? Like soup for you? That's something that got started at her work. I don't even... She's been doing it all day, so now... I don't know. Yeah. I don't actually have any soup, soup for you. Sorry. Guys. You want to show them the mess? Why? Mass. Like your bed? Your laundry? Damn. All your bags? The movies. All the movies. Look at this. I'm so proud. She's watching nerd movies. She's watching Thor and oh, Iron Man. Too. Well, yeah, but you've been watching Big Bang Theory for how long now? And Captain America, I'm so proud. I'm just, I'm raising her right. She's turning into such a little nerd. It's awesome. <sighs> There's hope for you yet. You'll make an awesome nerd someday. Yeah. <laughs> She's just saying that. Well, because I'm raising her, so it'll turn out okay. Anyway, all right, so... I will leave a link below to my brother's page, Project Nurture. You guys really need to check it out. Start posting your shirts. <laughs> what? Not your underwear. And I will see you guys later. Woo!